Okay. Okay, so we are streaming live. How is everybody this fine Monday? Hopefully you guys are all, you know, got a little bit of relaxation over the weekend. And um, it's always great to kind of start the Monday off with a little inspiration, a creative inspiration uh, to kind of kick us into gear. Um, you know, always making more room for things that you love. I am here with Debbie. Debbie, say hi. I know she's getting the comments up. So hi. Say hi so she can see you in the comments. And of course, um, let us know where you're joining us from. We'd love to hear from you. So she's got a really fun lunch and learn for us. I was actually just thinking, Debbie, I don't even think I've eaten lunch yet. So I'm just going straight to learning today. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so uh, yeah, so let's look. Oh, good, Lisa. Hello, how are you? Great. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. I think I'm good to go. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Yep, I muted your one, but you can go back and forth on the screens if you want. If you're going to keep your face, if you want to keep your um, one up, I just muted your computer on Zoom, so you're good. I think we're good. Thank you. We yep. see the down view. Okay. Okay. All right, so yes, I'm ready to learn as well with you, Debbie. All we'll right, time over. Okay. All right, I feel like I need to move this over just a smidge. Sorry, guys. I was just telling her how adorable um, her. She's like in her beach house right now, guys. You should see. Debbie runs a bed and breakfast and it's absolutely adorable, but she also has this beach house. And so I love it because her layout has that very much same feel. So you know, yeah. live through you for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, beachy with a farmhouse uh, theme. So I love it. It okay. kind of screams me. Well, how's everyone doing today? I'm going to turn the time over to you. All right. See you. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Alrighty, guys. If you're on, give me a quick little comment so I know you're here watching. Well, I kind of get these pages in um, a little bit better. There we go. That works. I get them taped down to my work surface. Um, so give me a comment if you're here watching live. And um, I guess if you miss this live today, it's gonna be uploaded onto the Kiwi Lane community and it's streaming live on the Play to Create group and it'll be saved there for rewatching, I believe as well. So um, I know everyone's busy and people sometimes have work commitments during the day. So technology is wonderful that we have all of these wonderful tools at our fingertips where we can record and stream and share and um, show you projects and um, teach and learn through these um, Facebook and Zoom meetings and recordings. So basically what I'm doing today, I'm going to show you two double two page layouts that I recently created using the same basic format layout for the background for all four of the pages, just tweaking it a little, changing some of the accessory elements on the second two pages from the first two pages. And um, I actually was able to get 14 photos four here, three here, and then the same uh, seven photo format on the next two. So I was able to scrapbook 14 photos on just four pages, which is awesome for me because um, I printed up 300 photos last week of my son's wedding that was last October. He actually had two weddings, one in California and one in North Carolina. So I had lots and lots of photos to scrap. And typically when I don't have a lot of photos to scrap, I'm the kind of person that does maybe only one on a page or sometimes two on a page. But with having this many photos, I have to optimize not only my scrapbook pages so I don't end up with 10 albums 
for this wedding, but my time too and supplies. So um, I still want my pages to look really pretty and just up with all of my pretty papers and um, elements. But I'm trying to optimize putting um, more photos on each page and still have it look elegant. So let's get started. So what I did for my first two pages, I laid out all of my Kiwi templates so you could see my sketch format here. So I'll just go ahead and name them off if you can't see their names from your screen in case you fall in love with this layout and would like to give it a try yourself. So of course I started with my four by four photo mats over here on this size and I used four of them. So they helped me crop my photos down perfectly. And then over on this side, I used three four by five photo mats for the pictures on this side. And then moving on, how much are you guys in love with the new Coastal Highway templates? I, like Susan mentioned, we have a tiny little place at the coast in North Carolina that I've been spending a lot of time at. So I have a lot of beachy photos and pictures of our, our little place here and pictures I take in and around town and at the beach. So these speak to my heart, but you can use them for anything. They don't have to just be beach. And there are other styles in the set too that are not necessarily this cute one like I'm using on this one that's the wave um, but you know anything you could use them for pool you could use them for summer you could use them for lake you can use them for camping I mean they don't even have to be a theme like that they're just they're just really pretty fun templates that I think are very versatile but they're quickly becoming one of my favorites so on um, these two pages I'm using coastal highway 3A and 3B. And then layered on top of that, I'm using Cedar Trails 1A and 1B, the cute little one that looks like waves or white caps of waves. And then on this side from the July Kiwi Club kit, I'm using Nautical 1, 2, and 3. I love that little sailboat. It is so stinking adorable. All right, guys, and then over here, continuing on what which templates we're using. Up here, I'm using the palm tree, the a la carte My Oasis that came um, not in a club kit. That is just available um, as an a la carte. This down here, the tropical, um, on my pages, I'm using two and four were in the Aloha Kiwi Club kit that was in the very, very beginning. Um, the club was launched in June. So I wanna say this was the July kit that they just brought back out of the vault. So I was so happy when that came out cause I loved those templates and the papers. So I grabbed that, I was able to get one about a year ago on one of the buy sell groups, but I, I, I purchased another one when it came out of the vault just because I love the papers so much and I knew I would have a use for them. Okay, so let's get started. Those of you that watch my videos, I do a lot. You know that my little trick to, I always, two things. I use washi tape to hold my base pages down to my desktop so my base pages don't move around when I'm moving things around playing to create. And then secondly, when I do a double layout, I always love how the templates flow seamlessly from the one page to the other. I am very particular. I love for that seam right there to match up perfectly. Even though I put these in um, a ring binder, and they will be separated. I still love visually how it looks when they match up seamlessly. So the washi tape helps me hold everything together. Like I said, when I'm moving things around and playing to create. So this way um, I can get a visual of what that will look like. And it also helps me laying things out. And then when I actually trace and cut my template 
templates and then go back to adhere them with my adhesive. It just kind of keeps everything in place. And the washi does not stick to your paper. When you're done, you can just peel it off and everything is perfect. So I either like to start from my top of the page and work my way down or from the bottom of the page and work my way up. And then this way you are assured that everything is going to fit back on once you adhere it down like you laid it out um, with your templates. So for today, let's start at the bottom and we'll work our way up. So for time's sake for the video, I always like to um, pre-trace and pre-cut everything. But basically, if there's anyone new watching the video that's not familiar with Kiwi Lane, you're gonna love it. So stinking easy. And I feel like my scrapbook pages have never looked as good as they look now um, before I got turned on to Kiwi. So basically you just lay whatever template you want to use on top of either your cardstock or pattern paper. And for this one, I'm using cardstock for this one. And another trick of mine, I do not ink my edges. I'm a little bit more of a clean and simple um, designer and I, I don't ink um, and give it that vintagey kind of look. I use a lot of bright, cheerful papers, doodlebug papers, and I just like the, the bright, clean and simple look. So what I do is I flip my template over and I trace everything on the back side of my cardstock or my pattern paper. And then this way, when you're cutting out, if you don't cut perfectly and you are getting that pencil line showing up, like I, hopefully you can see here on mine, you can see my pencil lines. It's not gonna matter because it's on the back side. The only thing you have to remember is when you are tracing on the back side, you have to flip your template accordingly. So I always lay my template on the front side of my paper to make sure I'm gonna be tracing it the correct way. And then I just do a flip like that. And then when I turn it, it's the right way. Because I think in your mind, you would be tempted to flip this and maybe not flip this. And then it would be when you traced it on the back, it would be this way, it would be the wrong way. So I always lay my template right side up on top of my paper, right side up. And then I just do one of these and then flip it over and trace it on the back. So anywho, I went ahead and traced and cut out of this pretty blue cardstock, the waves. And then we'll just go ahead and put that back dry right now. We're not gonna adhere anything down until we get all our pieces cut. And I wanna make sure that I leave enough room for my photos. And these photos for this one, I'm not going to leave any room. I'm gonna butt them right up against each other. Sometimes I'll leave a tiny little like one eighth or one quarter inch border in between them all. And sometimes I don't. And on this one, I'm not gonna. And when you see the pictures, you'll see why. All right, and then Cedar Trails. I went ahead and laid on top of this pretty um, barnwood looking, but it picked up the colors in the photos um, and of my daughter-in-law's flowers. Her flowers were pink and um, white and then pops of raspberry and green, so pretty. Their um, wedding wedding where they officially got married was in San Diego and it was just absolutely gorgeous at this outdoor event right on the water with palm trees and boats and everything so pretty. And then the second wedding we hosted for them, like Susan said, we had it back at our B&B. So it was very much more farmhousey and North Carolina style with barbecue and we had country music playing and sweet tea and mason jars and it was um, a lot of fun. Both weddings were a lot of fun. But as I move through my photos, my focus is going to have to switch. Like these photos I'm doing of the California wedding are very beachy and palm trees and flowers and florals and water. And then I'll have to flip and switch and come up with a lot of fun farmhousey country styles. So stay tuned, stay tuned. It, it might be a few months until I get to those pictures. 
things, but I'll share them when I do. All right, so same thing. I went ahead and traced and cut the Cedar Trails 1A onto this pretty pattern paper. And what I'm gonna do when I layer this and adhere it down, because I didn't want any of this white or even the blue peeking out, I think I'm gonna bring it all the way down and let the bottom part of the wave hang off my 12 by 12 page. And then when everything's adhered down, I'm just gonna take my paper trimmer and trim this straight across. So it cuts off the bottom of those waves. And I have a straight edge on this side with just the little white caps of the waves showing up top. All right, and then next, folks, I went ahead and traced and cut my nautical. Now nautical, this little sailboat was in July's Kiwi Club kit. Show of hands. Let's hear in, in the chat, how many of you are uh, Kiwi Club members? And if so, how long have you been a club member? And what's your favorite kit? I've been a club member since, um, I think it started in June of 2018. I missed June and July and August. I, I joined in August. So the first kit I received was in September of 2018. But like I mentioned earlier, I was so happy when they brought those past kits out of the vault. So I was able to get um, those first three months of kits that I missed before I um, signed on and became a club member. So even though I've only been a member since September of 2018, I have them all now that Kiwi was um, kind enough to open the vault and release some of those um, kits that I missed in the beginning. So see how um, I traced and cut the sails from the sailboat onto that beautiful raspberry cardstock to kind of pick up the raspberry in this pattern paper. And you'll see, um, I'm gonna pull my photos over now. Can't see so much from these photos, oh, a little bit for my daughter-in-law's bouquet, but um, when I start doing and sharing the ones with all the bridesmaids and they have their bouquets, there were quite a few pops of raspberry in their bouquets. I think more so in theirs than in hers. So like I said, I took my four by six photos and took my four by four photo mat and just laid it on top of my four by six photo. That helped me perfectly crop the exact part of the photo that I wanted to capture and keep. And then I was able to trim off the parts that I didn't need. Okay, guys, look at these photos. Look at these gorgeous photos. Like I said, this is their actual wedding, the one in California. Look at this one of my daughter-in-law. Is that not gorgeous? They took that after they were married when they went and did their private photos. I mean, she just looks like a little princess. So beautiful. They had the most gorgeous day. I, I don't think the weather is ever bad in San Diego, California, but it was in October and it was like in the 80s, low 80s during the day but with no humidity. And then the evening was warm in the seventies, probably and just beautiful. Okay, so that is why I um, chose these colors for my cardstock and my pattern paper to kind of pick up the blues, the different colors of blues in my son's suit and then the uh, raspberry in some of the flowers, and it will carry over and continue onto this side too. So let's go ahead and adhere all of this down because I am happy with the placement of everything. So I actually, even though I said I was gonna start from the bottom move up, I know my photos have to go here. 
I don't want the photo tucking under the wave, although it would be cute to do that. But for this one, I don't want it tucking under the wave. Um, and how did I have this sailboat? I didn't, or maybe I did have it tucking under the wave a little. Yeah, I think I did. And then just had the sail from the sailboat um, come up a little into the corner of this photo, just a little bit. All right, so I'll start with the photos first, adhere them down, and then that'll give me the placement for these templates as I move down. This one down a little bit. So how many of you talk to yourself like I do when you scrapbook? Or how many of you have a little helper at your work table when you're scrapping like I do? My little dog Bailey. And you talk to maybe a helper that's in, in the room with you. Start on this side. Placement correct. I'm just lining it up with the top of my 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. It's my base here. All oh, these photos are so pretty. It's hard to believe that was almost a year ago. They got married on October 19th, and then we had their second wedding party on October 26th. So they're coming up on their one year anniversary. My other son that lives here near us just celebrated his three year wedding anniversary last week. And I'm still not sharing publicly on Facebook, although I guess I am now if I'm mentioning it, um, because my daughter-in-law's first doctor's appointment is today, but we just found out two weeks ago. Sorry, I just hit the camera with the top of my my hair, my messy bun. We just found out um, a couple of weeks ago that we are going to be first time grandparents next to April. I'm so super excited. I cannot wait. I'm so super excited. That's our first grandchild and the first baby in our little family. Super excited. Okay. Uh, So now I know 100% that's where my photos are. So I can wiggle these waves up and down however I want. And I think I don't want them overlapping the photo on this side. So I am just going to put them there. Perfect. And then we'll come over and add our waves. And I'm gonna make sure I put my adhesive up toward the top. Because remember, I said I'm going to trim the bottom of those waves off a little bit. And that looks a smidge crooked to me. I want to make sure before I add the second layer that everything is straight. And again, the washi tape is really helpful to keep everything straight. And I do go back when I finish and I remove the washi tape. I do turn my pages over. And if anything is overhanging like this will be, I do go around and trim everything to make everything very neat and tidy and square. I am very particular about things being lined up in square. Probably a little OCD. Um, Things don't have to be neat and tidy and square in scrapbook world. Sometimes I don't, but most times I do. Especially the edges. If anything's hanging off the edge, I will go back and trim that. And then I don't want these two peaks peeking out from behind the sailboat. I want this cute little sailboat to be the star of the show. So I'm going to make sure when I place it, that those peaks don't peek out. And then I added some foam dots onto the back of my sails. So they pop up a little bit to give my page just a smidge of dimension. We'll do one over here like that. 
that, gosh, Bailey is being so good. Usually as soon as I start a video, that's when she die, decides she has to bark and has to go out. Wants to bark at every single neighbor. There. All right. There's page one. Easy peasy. I could have added something more up here, but I thought it was just pretty as is. All right, we'll move over to page two. Same thing. I'm going to work my way from the top down. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to work my way from the bottom up because I want to make sure these match up and then I'll adjust my photos accordingly. So over on this side, we're using these pretty elements from Tropical and then the same Coastal Highway and Cedar Trails. I will just stick back there. I have everything pre-done, so you're not watching me trace and cut. You're just seeing the magic happen, which is so, so fun. I figured everyone knows probably how to trace and cut. That's why I showed just a quickie in the beginning of how I trace and cut my templates, but pretty self-explanatory. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this, make sure when I add my adhesive, I'm adding it kind of at the tops of where these peaks of these little um, breakers in the water or what I'm considering the water of the cedar trails would be because I'm gonna trim off the bottom because I didn't want any of that showing through. Little piece of glue got on my desk. All right. And see how that washi tape is just holding everything in place for me, guys, so things are not wiggling around while I'm designing. That's Bailey in the background hitting a drink of water. If you hear that clinking, that's her little collar on her water bowl. Okay. Hmm. Let's move. Yeah. I think that's a little bit better. All right, and then when I trim it off, on the bottom, I'm not going to see any of that white or blue peeking out where these little points are. Perfect. Okay, and then over here on this corner, we have that beautiful flower from Tropical. So I traced and cut the flower. And... I know I want a leaf over here, so I guess I'll put my flower like that. And then we'll add the leaf. Isn't this leaf beautiful? It's just such a tropical beautiful. And thank you, Kiwi, for designing these because they go perfectly with my son's wedding photos. <laughs> They are just perfect. She had a lot of palmy type of flowers and, and very Hawaiian style, very uh, tropical Polynesian and gorgeous. Hmm. I think I'm gonna turn this. And then pop this leaf under like that. Cute. All right. And you all may be smarties and already know this trick, but I share a lot of my videos. When I'm scrapping at the beach, I don't have my punches. They're back home in my little craft room. So a quick fix is if you need a circle, inside something for a tire or the inside of a flower. I love to layer insides on my flowers. 
you can use the little farm chop from country and it actually will give you four different sizes, this inner portion and you could trace on the outside. So the size that I needed for this flower, I used, I think this inner portion here, traced it and then cut it out country. Okay, I put a pop dot on the back of that. And we're gonna add it to the flower. So that's popped up, super cute. All right, and then I'll remove my photo mats next. And we know the palm tree is gonna go there. So, I'm gonna put that one of my husband and I there, and then us there. And then this is my other son, Justin and Olivia. Those are the two that are expecting a baby. So exciting. And then I traced and cut the palm tree, the top on some green cardstock and the bottom with some uh, wood grain to give it the look like the bark of a palm tree. Cute. All right. And you guys see how quickly this came together. I mean, super easy peasy templates. I feel like make your layouts so gorgeous and everything comes together very, very quick. You don't have to necessarily wreck your brain. Things just coordinate so nice and come together so nice. And then we'll add this one and then the palm tree and then we're done with these. And then I'm gonna switch over and show you how we're gonna use the same basic layout to create two more pages with seven more photos. Beautiful. And then again, I used country to cut me some circles. And then this time I wanted coconuts for the palm tree. So I used this tiny little circle inside the front tire and cut out three. Picking up the raspberry. I like to keep my colors traveling from page one to page two. So if I have like a bright focal color like this on one side, I'm definitely gonna do it on the other side too. So your eye travels and it's not stagnant. All right, so this one I'm going to adhere down and these other two I added pop dots too. So they pop up and give a little dimension. Did I add adhesive on the back of that palm tree? I don't think I did. Sometimes when I talk, I forget. Nope. All right, so quick little adhesive. And we'll just layer that under the photo. Like that. Done. There you go, guys. What do you think? And when you're done, when everything's glued down, you're happy with all your placements. All you have to do is remove the washi tape. And I'll go back after the video and trim the portion of the cedar trails that's hanging off my page. But you get the idea. I'm just gonna trim it straight across on the bottom here. So my pages are square on the bottom. Okay, so there's pages one and two with seven photos. And we're gonna switch over now. Make sure I keep the correct photos with the correct, I have to do some wiggling around here. All right, so here is page one. And you remember on page one, on the first one, we had the four photos with the borders on the bottom and we had the sailboat here. So there's the four photos again, right to the top. And 
And then on my next one, we had three photos. And okay. So again, that same basic layout with the borders on the bottom. I'm going to add my washing so all the kids behave and don't move around while I'm putting these together. And on the previous one down here, we had the flower and the leaves. On this one, you guys, I'm using a bow tie because you'll see when I pull these pictures, I'm helping my son and the groomsmen put their boutonnieres on and they're um, tying their ties. So this was super cute. And I shared another one I did the other day of the groomsmen with their bow ties. And I used the bow tie shape from Cherish to create a border. I traced it and moved it and traced it and moved it and traced it all the way across and made a border out of the bow tie. And I shared that on the Play to Create page and on my Kiwi page. All right, and then over here, this flower and leaf we had down here on the first one, I just flipped it and we're gonna put it up here. On the first one, we had a palm tree up here. So same basic layout, borders on the bottom. We had the sailboat here. We're using this pretty flower from Paradise. Tropical number three. And then these borders this time are funky frills 1A and 1B, which coordinates with Aspen Court 3A and 3B. Okay, you see it's the same layout. We're just changing things up, moving elements around, and cr quickly creating four pages with 14 photos. And I didn't have to wreck my brain thinking of, okay, now I have to come up with a new layout for this one. All right, so let's do the same thing we just did. We'll go ahead and adhere the photos down first so I get their placement. I don't see any um, chats in the chat box. So either no one is watching live right now, everyone's busy at work and doing things, or no one's feeling chatty right now. All right, so this is my son and I was helping him. Let's see. I got the box, they were taking things out of the box. Put that on. He had the lay, and then all the groomsmen had boutonnieres that, of course, Mama Debbie had to help them with. Boys are clueless and they don't have a clue how to um, dress themselves and put their boutonnieres on. But that's what mamas are for, right? That's what mamas are for. All right, so same like last time. I'm gonna start with the photos on this side. Adhere my photos down and then that'll let me judge where to put my, my borders. Super windy here today. We're still getting the remnants, the back side of that. Um, the remnants of, I think it was Sally, the hurricane that came through. Um, and it was like monsoonal rain here Thursday and Friday and super gloomy on Saturday. And then Saturday, the winds picked up and it was super windy here yesterday. And we're, um, we're getting gusts today where it dies down and then it gets gusty again. like I did in the previous one. I'm butting my photos up against each other, not leaving any space in between. Almost make it look like a jigsaw puzzle. 
looking, I hope my head is not getting in the way of my video. I'm not hitting my camera again like I did, so I don't think I am. Cute. They're flowers for their wedding and, and the um, San Diego one, which is, oh my gosh, so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. All right, so like I mentioned, Funky Frills, 1A and 1B, Aspen Court, 3A and 3B. So I'll go ahead and remove those. And then over here on this side, um, in place of the sailboat, we're gonna use on this one, Paradise number six from an accessory set and Tropical number three from the Kiwi Aloha Club Kit. All right, so we'll go ahead and adhere our borders. And this paper, I went ahead um, again when they released some of the back kits out of the vault. This one, um, gosh, I think the name of it was Golden Years or something with golden. But as soon as I saw it, I said, oh my gosh, those colors are just gonna be perfect for my son's uh, wedding photos because their suits were that pretty cobalt blue. And um, her accent color was blush pink. So in na uh, navy and the blush pink goes so pretty together. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple more of those kits when they were released out of the vault. Um, so I would have more of this paper to use on my son's wedding album because <laughs> I knew I had a lot of photos. All the photos came out so pretty. It was hard to choose. So I just printed off a lot of them. I'm making sure I'm right on the edge on this side. And then you see, I don't know if you could see, I think it's out of view of the camera, but over on this side, it's um, the background paper is a, just a, a hair larger than my pattern paper. So I will just go back and trim that off when I finish. So everything again, looks neat and tidy and all my edges are clean and crisp. Alrighty. And here, Aspen down there, cute. All right, next we'll take Paradise that I pre-traced and cut with some blush cardstock. And again, I used the little trick with the country tractor. And this time I wanted a larger circle. So I traced the outside of the small tire. Like I said, you get four different size circles, inside, inside, and then outside, outside. And even though the tire stops there, all you have to do is just flip it and continue your circle when you're tracing. So I traced this on the outside. I traced that and then flipped it around and traced the rest of my little circle and cut it out. A great way, like I said, to get um, four different size circles and I don't have any punches here where I am now, so I'm not gonna be lugging them back and forth. I just leave them at home. So it's another great way to use a key, Kiwi Lane template in a different way than it was intended and in, originally in, intended for. I guess I can't glue down and speak at the same time. And I'm gonna let that overlap a little over the photo just like we did with the first page, how I let the sails of the sailboat overlap that one photo just a smidge. And then I traced and cut the leaves onto some pretty green pattern paper from the kit, the Kiwi Club kit with this different shape leaf. And we'll add one back behind here. And we'll add another one, I guess, back behind here. Pretty, okay, page one is done. 
Let's move on to page two. We're gaining on it, folks. We're almost done. All right, so over here, like I mentioned, we have cherish number one, if you wanna recreate this, and then funky frills 1B and Aspen Court 3B over here to coordinate with this. Set them aside. Grab my already pre-traced and pre-cut. Add some adhesive. I think if I have any tips to share on this side. I don't think I'm doing anything different than I did on the previous ones. And there were a couple of different colors of blues in this kit, which I love because their suits weren't navy, although my husband wore a navy suit, so that kind of coordinates with his. The boys suits were a little bit more of that cobalt so I loved that there were a couple of different blues, a navy and then a, a lighter blue and then almost like a periwinkle and then this really pretty sky blue. Like I said, I grabbed two more of these kits when they came out of the vault just because I knew the um, papers and the colors were gonna go perfect for all of our wedding photos. And then there again, like over here, there's just a hair of that background paper that is peeking out over here and here. So when I'm done, I'll go back to my trimmer and trim that off. All right, and then let me show you the photos for this page and you'll see why I grabbed that adorable bow tie for these. So these again, same like the first one, three, four by five photo mats that helped me crop my photos down to just exactly the portion of the photo I wanted to use. So there's my son getting ready, showing his bow tie, super cute. And there's both my sons, Brandon, the groom and Justin, the soon to be daddy. And this is one, uh, one two, three of the groomsmen and there's mama putting their boot and ears on. So I traced and cut the bow tie out of some blush cardstock because they had blush bow ties from um, Southern Tide. And I'm gonna add that right there. How cute is that, you guys? Love it, love it. I love these pages. I love how all of these templates work so perfectly for these um, very tropical wedding photos. Thank you, Kiwi Lane. And I love the papers from this kit because again, they coordinate so, so well with the colors that my son and daughter-in-law chose for their wedding. That kind of worked out perfect. So I'll add this one first. And then sometimes I have to stand to make sure I'm not adhering things crooked. And then we'll add this one. How handsome are all these boys? Gosh, it seems like they were just two years old and now they're all grown and married and having babies. All right, and again, folks, tropical four, tropical two, traced and cut one and then cut two and same little trick, trace and cut the circle from the tire from the farm truck. Add my adhesive. I'm gonna put the flower like that. Pop dot on the back of the circle for the middle of the flower. And then trace and cut two of that smaller palm leaf. And we're gonna adhere one, like that, and one, like that. Voila, done. Everything's glued down. So I can remove the washi tape. And then when the video is done, 
I will go back and trim my edges for any little pieces that peek out. But there you have it, folks. Four pages, same basic layout. I just changed and moved around some of the accessories to go with my photos. And we just scrapped in however long, 45 minutes, 14 photos. 14 photos, super quick. So there's the first one we did. Cute. And then there are the second pages that we did. Love it. So I can't wait to hear what y'all think of my pages. Thanks for watching today. I hope I inspired you to go create something fun in your craft room using your Kiwi Lane templates and some pretty papers and photos. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.